many of the things that people are talking about as transformative are long-standing business practices in the automation world. So we're really trying to figure out in the discussion about digital transformation, the first step has to be, what does this mean to you? And really, what are your goals? What are you trying to accomplish with this? So when we're talking to customers about digital transformation, some of it also really depends on where are they starting from today? From someone who hasn't you know, embraced things like wireless technology, to them a digital transformation could be something as simple as uh, we want to monitor the steam traps in our facility, so can we put in a network and some analytics to do that? For some of our uh, customers who have been you know, working on uh, digital transformation type projects for a long time, it can be a much broader scope that they're looking at where they may have a, a center of excellence where they've built uh, digital process models and digital twins for entire facilities and they're wanting to use them for operator training, process improvement, uh, testing new uh, control strategies. So for them, you know, they have a, a much uh, deeper view into the technology already. They're looking to take it to the next level. We also have people who are saying, our IT department has been working with Amazon, Microsoft, you know, any of the, the cloud service providers up there, and we're putting all of our data into these giant data lakes in the cloud, and now we're trying to figure out how do we mine that and get value from it. So it could be anything from as simple as, let's put a wireless network and a few sensors in, all the way to let's take everything we know about our process, put it into a big pile of data, and start sifting through for insights. So one of the common threads that we see in discussions about digital transformation is not about so much about what people want, it's what they don't want. They don't want us to just start dumping more piles of data onto their already you know, busy and overworked uh, engineers and technicians and operators. And in reality, most of them have a lot of the data that they already need. We don't need many additional data streams. We could take what's there, they have process historians, they have process knowledge, they have all of this um, basically gold just scattered throughout their facilities and we want to help them gather up that data and do some analysis and really turn it into something actionable and useful so that we can then get that to the appropriate person who can take action on uh, an analyzed view of the data rather than giving them an Excel spreadsheet with 300 columns and 10,000 rows and saying figure it out. We have the tools to you know par parse that data and, and find the gems for them and then be able to give the vibration tech, here's the, the pump that you should be looking at, be able to tell the i &E person this transmitter is having a problem, being able to tell the safety person you know, if they have um, uh, safety devices that are malfunctioning and really be able to route you know, the information that we find, we mine that out and then get that to the appropriate person in a, a relevant time frame so that they can take action on it. We've worked with customers from, you know, uh, starting at an overall high-level strategy where we sit down and figure out what are the, the major business goals that we're trying to achieve and use that to start determining where do we put pilots in place or where do we start taking action. And that's one way to tackle the problem, starting at the top and figuring out where do we go. But another way that has worked is if we start at a small level in a single a unit of a facility or even just a single asset, solve the problems wrapped around a, a specific pain point for a customer, and then well, once we've solved that, we have the infrastructure in place to begin growing and expanding. If you have more questions about digital transformation or are trying to figure out what it means to you, visit the IIoT and Digital Transformation section of EE365 or come visit one of your local Emerson Solution Centers.